Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to build big data pipeline inside Google Cloud Platform using the service called Cloud Dataflow. So inside Cloud Dataflow, we will be using Apache Beam as our programming language and we will be using Python SDK for it. So as part of this video, we will be reading data from Cloud Storage Bucket, write it to do some transformation and finally write it back to Cloud Storage Bucket itself. So this video is designed in a way or this particular script is designed in a way which will have the exact replica of how we do it in the real time experience. So we will be creating the Python virtual environment, install all the dependencies packages and then finally executing our script on top of it with the help of runner called Cloud Dataflow Runner which is used to execute our runner inside a Google Cloud Platform. There are various different types of runner offered by Apache Beam. If you want to run it as locally, you can use direct runner. But since I am going to execute on top of Cloud Dataflow, I'll be using this Cloud Dataflow runner. So this is the objective of this video. And without any delay, let's get started. So all the steps, everything is documented and it is present in the GitHub page. So first thing is you have to make sure you enable all the services which you are going to use. So as part of this service, we will be using this data flow, compute, logging, storage and BigQuery pops up. It is not required. If you want, you can remove it or else you can just execute those things as well. So I have pasted the command gcloud service enable. So whatever the services which you are pasting it here, everything will get enabled. So once it is enabled, we will get all these things are enabled successfully. So the next step is we are going to do the account uh, sorry application default login so if you want you can do this but i have already logged in it so it is not required for me so the next one is grant role to your google account so basically whatever the service account or whatever the user account which i'm going to use it should have necessary access so you can use this gcloud projects add ad, admin policy binding so this is the project id followed by the member and finally the role so you can just copy this command and you have to execute it. Don't forget to replace your project ID with this lucky leaf and your user ID. So you can just take it, copy it here and hit enter. So it will give you the role IAM service account user. So service account user role is given to this cloud AI analytics at the rate gmail.com. And now we are going to create the cloud storage bucket. So for that, we are using gsutil command. So gsutil mb is make bucket. The storage class of that particular bucket is standard and the region is US East to 4. And this is the bucket name, data flow, word count, bucket, iPhone, underscore one. So before that, I'll just open the bucket details here and just cross check whether the same bucket is available, bucket with the same name is available or not. So yeah, there is no such bucket. So you can just go hit enter. And this will create bucket in this particular region, US East 4. We can cross check the same here. Just refresh the console here and you will be able to see this data flow, word count bucket. It got created, the region and the location is US East 4 and standard. So you can see all the other details here. So this is this bucket is where we will be using uh, for staging for temporary and we will be writing, uh, we will be reading input and also we will be writing output to the same bucket itself. And the next one is if you want to do it, you are doing it for the first time, right? So you have to grant access to your uh, service account. So I'm going to use the default compute service account. So this is the compute default service account. And I'm giving data flow admin, data flow worker and storage object admin. So this is how you will be able to give access to your compute service account. So how you can find that compute service account. You can just go to this navigation menu, IAM and admin. You can just go click on this all products and in the top itself you will be able yeah here it is iam and admin from here you will be able to find the service account details so we are going to use default service account offered by google cloud that is the compute service account here you can see 280669 and here you can see give all the roles here so the same thing i have given all the roles necessary roles to this service account 669 so you can just ask you can Replace it with your act compute default service account and whatever the role you wanted, you can use it. So the next thing is uh, we wanted to create virtual environment inside this particular uh, folder itself. So you can do ls and you will be able to find it. So input text.txt is the input file and this is the uh, script file which we are going to do. Before that, we wanted to implement or we wanted to create our virtual environment. 
so pip install virtual environment so pip3 install virtual environment it is going to install the package virtual environment and this and this command basically this command python3 hyphen m make virtual environment and the environment name would be env or you can use this venv as well but i'm going to use env itself now if you hit enter you will be able to see one virtual environment created there and just do ls over there and you will be able to see this environment so how to activate this virtual environment you can use source environment bin activate so one right after executing this you can see we are inside this in virtual environment you can see what is the python version here python version and python 3.9.2 you can see python 3 version and what is the pip version also you will be able to check inside the system and then once after that we are going to install the wheel package so wheel package and beam we have to install this in order to work apache work in order to work with apache beam packages inside this environment pip3 install wheel so the next one is pip3 install apache beam gcp so we are going to execute apache beam python package inside which is gcp environment so we are going to hit enter and this will take some time after 40 to 50 seconds it is finally done we have installed apache beam inside this virtual environment if you want you can check the beam version as well whatever which is present inside this virtual environment i will explain now what is the input text file how it looks and what is basically we are trying to do from that input.txt file so this is the input.txt file which we are going to do as part of our code we are going to convert everything into a tuple and what is the count of that particular word for example how many times king has appeared in this whole document and respective word count like respective for all the words we will have it in a tuple and respective count and finally we will write that inside our cloud storage bucket so this is what we are going to do and this is the input file which we will be using for this purpose so whatever the special characters which are special characters extra space whichever it is present we will completely we will eradicate those things and we will have final output what is the word and what is the respective count so that is what we will have and this is the python script which we are going to do so first thing is we are importing the libraries arc pass so where we will get all the input and output arguments from the user itself and logging is to get uh, is to log all the custom variables whatever we have wanted to log we can log it and re is the regular expression which we wanted to work with string basically with the help of this regular expression only we are going to remove that space we are going to handle that special characters as well and here we are going to import the apache beam and read from text write to text basically from cloud storage bucket and to cloud storage bucket and these are the pipeline options for batch processing pipeline and finally this we are setting into our google cloud options because ultimately we wanted to run inside data flow runner and we are using this google cloud option so this extract word is the custom function which we will be using inside our beam pipeline so extract word find all it is going to find all the words and uh, it is going to uh, convert that everything inside a list only everything it will be present inside this list and we will remove all the extra spaces that is what we are using that strip strip is to remove extra spaces before the word and after the word as well what, wherever there is an empty space it will remove it and this format result is to convert the word in this particular format so what is the word and what is the respective count of that word so these are the custom functions which we'll be using inside this beam pipeline and this is the main function our main function name is run and it doesn't have or it doesn't take any arguments like it doesn't have any parameters so first thing is it expects two arguments from the input end user one is the input that is cloud storage bucket and one is the output again cloud storage bucket and here we are setting everything inside this pipeline option and few parameters like project job name staging location temp location if you see we are using the same bucket name which i created and this is the project id and this is the job name so this are the we are setting to google cloud options as well so we'll have we can see our job name like data flow word count job and this is where we are creating our pipeline with beam dot pipeline whatever the pipeline options we are passing inside this and this is the first step so lines is the p collection and we are reading data from cloud storage bucket and extract word from the text file so we are using the flat map and extract words is the function which we are calling extract word 
so every line will get into this function and it will be returning in the form of list this extract word this function is expecting input as a line so whatever the line for example if it goes here something like this Lear King of Brighton. So if this is the case and you will be able to find output of this particular function something like this. So this is how the output of this particular function will look like. If I give input as this word Lear King of Britain King Lear. So the output how the function will return us it will be in the form of list and everything will be in the list itself. The words uh, whatever the spaces special characters everything will be removed. And this is what the next uh, pipeline like uh, uh, once after the pipeline sorry once after the p correction is created the next thing is we are flattening the map and then we are getting the count of that particular word and then finally we are combining this sum so how many words are there and what is the sum of that particular words combined per sum everything will be in the form of tuple itself what is the respective word and what is the count of that word so once after that like this p collection output equal to output will take the previous p collection count and it will map the tuple so what every, till now our everything will be in the form of tuple what is the word and what is the respective count of that word here it will convert that to in this format like it will convert this to this format like what is the word and respective count and finally we will be writing it into cloud storage bucket which we will be passing as an argument so this is the function and this is a simple function and going forward, I will try to make some complex functionalities like bringing in the YAML files, JSON files, all those things. We will do it in the upcoming videos. So now in order to execute this, we are inside our virtual environment. You can use this command. So here you can see Python hyphen M. This is my file name word count underscore beam underscore exp. The input is this data flow word count and the output is result output. Runner is data flow runner region is us east 4 not central one and the project and the service account email so before to that i wanted to move this file inside my cloud storage bucket so in order to do it you can use gsutil copy and paste it and you can use this bucket name Yeah, the file is getting copied and it is done. You can cross check that by going inside your cloud storage bucket, inside your cloud storage bucket and the bucket which we created, data flow word count bucket underscore one. And here you can see input underscore txt dot txt file. Click on that file. You can get this gsutil URL. Copy that and come here and paste it inside this file. And just save it. It will be already, it will be seen. So I copied it. So now we are going to execute our pipeline. Paste the command here and hit enter. Sorry, like here the mistake is I have to add this comma, uh, this black slash. So I'll just remove it and again I'll paste it and hit enter. We have to get into this word count folder yes so now we are going to execute our pipeline so when i hit enter you will see what is happening so here if you see there is an error coming self dot service account email so if this is the case then there is an issue with our service account credentials so in order to rectify that you have to go to your iam admin get to your service account like whatever the service account which you are using for example i'm using this service account click on the service account generate the key file you have to click on this generate the key file you can just generate one key file here you can see i have generated one key file the same key file we have to place it here so this json key file is something which is very confidential you can't share it with anyone so make sure you place it somewhere and from that part you have to read it inside your code so in order to do that i'll use this command os dot environment i'm importing that os package and here if i'm pasting it here os.environment this is the google application credentials and this is the path of that respective json key file so in order to rectify it we have to pass this json key file i'll stop the flow now and then i'll hit enter so here if you see i'm passing the same thing python3 m what is the job input 
and output all those things i'm passing it here and then i'm hitting it enter so now you will be able to see we are not getting the error instead we are the same you can go into your data flow page and find whether it is executing or not so just go to data flow and here you can see data flow word count job 001 and what is the job name we have passed data flow word count job 001 this is our job name and you can find the same thing here so this is how the data flow pipeline typically works typically looks like so we are reading data from gcs text file extracting word pair with one words and then finally group and sum and then finally formatting it and then finally writing it to gcs bucket the same you can find it here so it is in the running state now so what is the job name what is the job id what is the job type job status sdk version which region it is and then finally start time current workers all those things will be basically creating at the runtime itself basically data flow is a serverless service and we don't need to prepare configure any computation or storage related we don't need to do anything everything will be happening at the runtime itself and you can find all the pipeline options like all the parameters related to our pipeline option so this is the job name project region runner staging location and temp location so this will take some time and apart from this you can find the execution detail what are the different job metrics what is the cost of those things and what is the recommendations this is done by google cloud itself if you want to stop import as a pipeline share if you want to trigger it cloud function cloud run you can readily integrate with other services as well so this will take some time meanwhile i'll pass the video here the job is completed so it took around four minutes 26 26 seconds to complete the job and here you can find all the job related metrics like resource metrics how many cpus were used what is the sdd all the details you will be able to find it here so all the step has been completed successfully in order to find logs you can click on here and you will be able to find the logs related to this particular job like job logs worker logs diagnostics data sampling you will be able to find everything here so now we'll just cross check by getting into our cloud storage bucket so just go to cloud storage bucket get into this data flow bucket which we have created and this is the result inside this result we'll be able to find our result so just click on this we'll be able to see our end result so here you can see lesser smokes blast whatever the words which is present inside our uh, text file and respective count of that particular words and once this is done we will deactivate our environment once it is deactivated we are in we are out of our virtual environment if you have any questions or any doubts please post that in the comment section i'll take a look at it and reply to it as soon as possible please do like comment share and subscribe to cloud and ai analytics i'll meet you in the next video with more interesting content from google cloud until then it's bye from viknesh happy learning